Hello, kids. I know an interesting story called The Three Little Pigs, which is about three little pigs who built houses for themselves. What will their houses look like? Are you curious about them? I'll tell you the story right now. Let's read on and find out. Once upon a time, there was a mother pig who lived with her three little pigs in a small house. The three little pigs grew very fast. One day, their mother called them around her and said, My children, you are all grown up now, and you can't live here any longer. You have to build new houses for yourselves, but take care that the wolf doesn't eat you. The three little pigs politely obeyed their mom and set off. My children, you are all grown up now, and you can't live here any longer. You have to build new houses for yourselves. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Yes, Mom. We'll obey you. On their way, they met a farmer who was carrying a bundle of straw. The eldest pig asked, Can you please give me some straw? I'll build a house with it. The farmer was very kind, and he agreed immediately. Ah, oh, hello little pigs. Can you please give me some straw to build my house? Oh sure, here, you can take as much straw as you want. Huh, can you really build a house with straw? Then the eldest pig built a house out of straw. He was very pleased with it. He said, now the wolf won't catch me and eat me. The two younger pigs were determined to build their own houses too. They said, we'll build houses that are stronger than yours. They then went along the road. Haha, -ha, my house is beautiful, isn't it? It's very strong and the wolf won't hurt me. I don't think this house is strong enough. I better build a better one. I'll build a house that is stronger than yours. Not long after that, the two little pigs saw a woodcutter who was carrying a bundle of sticks on his shoulders. The second pig quickly asked him for some sticks to build his house. The second pig soon had his house built with sticks. It looked stronger than the house of straw. He felt very confident in his house. The youngest pig said, I'll build a stronger house than yours. Then he walked along the road by himself. Second pig, are you at home? Ah, oh, youngest pig, is that you? Youngest brother, my house is really beautiful, isn't it? You won't find any house that is as nice and strong as mine. Hmm. It's quite good, but I'll build a stronger house. Goodbye. The youngest pig met a builder who was wheeling a barrel full of bricks. He asked for some bricks to build his house, and the builder was kind and he agreed. It was very hard and time consuming to build a house with bricks, but the youngest pig finally built himself a house with bricks which was very strong. Hey bear, can I have some bricks please? Here you are, catch them. One day, a wolf came to the eldest pig's house of straw. Then the pig saw the wolf coming. He was frightened and ran inside his house. The wolf knocked on the door, but the eldest pig was determined not to open it for him. The wolf took a deep breath and puffed. The house fell down, so the eldest pig hurriedly ran to the second pig's house. Quick, run and hide! Look, a wolf! Hurry up! Hey, fairy pig, your house is so beautiful. Open the door and let me in. No, no! Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Aha! Good. We'll see. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. 
chased him to the second pig's house. He knocked on the door loudly. The two pigs were so terrified that they didn't dare open the door. The wolf then huffed and puffed. The house of sticks shook and then fell down. So they had to run to the youngest pig's house. Open the door for me, fatty pig. No, no, not by the hair on our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. <laughs> the three little pigs quickly ran inside the house of bricks and shut the door. Again, the wolf tried to huff and puff. He thought that he would blow this house down as he had done with the previous ones and eat all the fatty pigs. Amazingly, the wolf tried to huff and puff and huff and puff, but the house didn't fall down. I ask you once again, are you going to open the door for me? Never! You can't hurt us! Good, I'll eat you up. You'll see. You are exhausted, aren't you? The wolf got very angry. He climbed onto the roof and intended to enter through the chimney. But the youngest pig was very smart. He put a big pot of boiling water below the chimney, and the wolf fell into it and was severely burnt. He was frightened and ran away. The three little pigs smiled, held hands, and sang very happily together. That is the end of the story. You see, because the eldest pig and the second pig wanted to build their houses quickly, their houses weren't very strong, and they were blown down by the wolf. The youngest pig was hard-working and careful, so he built a safe and strong house. The youngest pig is really praiseworthy, isn't he? I hope that through this story, you'll learn one more lesson of being careful and working hard so that you can do a lot of praiseworthy things. Goodbye, and see you next time! Hot, hot, hot! Enough to die! It serves you right, the wicked wolf! Serves you right. How dare you threaten anyone else? It serves you right, the wicked wolf.